Hello and welcome to one more episode of Cloud Hands-On. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can monitor your other cloud infrastructure resources and which options you would have for doing it. Ready? Okay, perfect. Before we jump into the content, please go ahead and subscribe yourself in our channel. If it is your first time in here, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's great to have you here. And if you uh, don't follow us yet on Instagram, please go ahead and do so. It is the cloudbootcamp.english. It's going to be awesome to see you over there. Okay, so let's jump into the content now. And when we think about monitoring and other cloud infrastructure, it is a big piece, right? It is not only in the other cloud infrastructure space, but literally everywhere, you know, no matter what where you're running your workloads, if it is in an on-premises environment or in the cloud, you need to have a way for monitoring your resources, right? Otherwise, you will never know if there is an outage or if it is, you know, higher resource consumption. You need to have a good approach to monitoring your resources. And in our cloud infrastructure, more specifically, we have, I would say, two approaches to monitor your resources, right? And the first one is you can use the OCI native monitoring service, which we are going to cover today. We're going to do a hands-on on this one today and also uh, you can use the oracle enterprise manager cloud control which is a very traditional oracle solution for monitoring workloads especially if you want to have a more detailed monitoring for your databases and application servers all right but today i'm going to show you how we can do that using the oci native monitoring solution which is a service from auto cloud infrastructure all right, so let's jump into the hands-on now and I want to see you in the console. Okay, cool. As you can see, uh, we are right there in the console right now. And, you know, if you want to work with monitoring in OCI, it's, uh, I would say it's fairly simple. I will show you a few ways that you can do it. But let's say that you want to see the resource consumption in one of your OCI VMs, for example. You can just go there in the menu down on the top, actually on the top, and then you can select compute instances. And you can just go in one of the your instances that you have in there. You can scroll down. Here is one of my instances. And here in the metrics, you can see that uh, you have all the metrics for your virtual machine, right? You have like CPU utilization mining here is pretty idle. I'm not running anything in there now. You have memory utilization as well, as you can see. Um, you know, I have a memory utilization. I have disk IO read and write. I have disk read bytes and disk write bytes as well. If you want to see how much of data is being written and read from your disks. And then you also have the net network metrics in here basically showing the bytes that are going in and out from your virtual machine right so that is one of the ways that you can see your metrics in auto cloud infrastructure now there is another way which is you can just go in the menu and the top scroll down all the way to the monitoring then you see the monitoring option in here you can click on the service metrics once you reach here in the service metrics screen you can basically switch to the compartment which your resources are created in my case i'll just leave the the root compartment in there and then you can just click in the metric namespace and you can for example if you want to see the metrics for a particular virtual machine like we did a few seconds back you can just select the compute agent i would say and then the compute agent basically will give you the data for the virtual machines that you're monitoring currently right but if you want to filter let's say that you want to see the monitoring metrics for just one of the virtual machines you can click in the dimensions in here you can add one dimension you can and for example, filter by, uh, I would say, resource display name. And then here you see the VM name in here. You can just select. And then once you do it, it is going to show the metrics only for that particular virtual machine, right? So here you see the same metrics that we saw a few minutes back, but in a different area here in the auto cloud infrastructure. Here is the service uh, monitoring panel, right? But let's say that you wanted to see not only your virtual machine metrics, but you want to see your uh, VCN metrics, for example. You can do that from here as well you can just click on the metric namespace and click in oci vcn once you click in oci vcn you're going to see all your network metrics for your virtual cloud network so everything from you know the packs uh, dropped by in the security list uh you know packs in and out from your network you also see the bytes that are going in and out so you see that uh, in my case in here i have a uh, very less activity i would say but the reality is that you can you know go through all the monitoring metrics 
metrics from that single page. You don't need to leave this page to see anything, right? You can do everything from here. Let's say you want to see all the metrics like for the storage as well. You could do that. You can just come in here and select the block storage. You can see all the metrics for your block storages and so on and so forth, right? Now, let's say that uh, you already know how to see your metrics, but you want to configure some alerting, right? Some alarm so that you can be notified if something goes wrong, right? In your instance. For doing that, it is actually pretty simple. You can just come in here in the compute section, just click in the menu and then select compute, go to instances. And let's say that you want to uh, enable the monitoring for your memory utilization for one of your particular instances, right? You can do it from here, for example, I will show you this example. We are here in the instance now, in the VM now. If you scroll down, you're going to see the matrix dashboard, I would say. And inside of the matrix dashboard, you see the memory utilization down here, right? This graph. If you want to enable some notification on top of this metric, let's say if the, your memory utilization um, goes higher than 80%, you want to get a warning alert, for example, right? That's totally possible for doing it. I will show you now. For doing it, you just need to come in here and click on the options button, create a alarm for this query, right? In this case, create a alarm on this query. And here you're going to give the alarm name like main utilization or main util, for example. And then you're going to say that it is a warning. And in the alarm body, you can give some text in here. It can give you a few of the parameters, but I don't want to do anything in here now. I just leave as it is. I will not put any tag. And here in the metric description, you see that we are going to create a alarm for memory utilization every one minute. And that's going to be a in me, right? Which is uh, basically the statistic in here, which you're going to use to uh, do the computation on the memory utilization. So that's going to be a mean of one minute interval. And the dimension name is basically the VM that we are going to create this alarm. So we're going to keep as it is because we're creating for just one of the VMs now. And the trigger rule is one of the most important things, right? So the value in here is the threshold that we're going to give for a alarm to be fired, right? Let's say that you want to be notified if your VM goes above 80% of memory utilization, then you can just type 80 here. And then it's going to show you the graph, right? You can see that the VM right now is at 6% of memory utilization. And this red dotted line is the threshold that we are configuring, right? So if the VM memory utilization goes higher than 80%, then basically the alarm will be fired. In a notifications, you can configure, right? For example, you can send one email to you. I would say email in here you can send one email and then once you save alarm that alarm is configured as you can see and then whenever the memory utilization goes uh, higher than 80 percent it is going to notify you via email right so that's a very easy way to configure some monitoring in your resources and other cloud infrastructure right now if you want to uh, do even more comprehensive monitoring you know you want to uh, gather more metrics like for example if you're monitoring an oracle database you want to monitor the databases running inside of your XCS or your DB system, you probably might need to consider to use the Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control, which basically will allow you to do a much more granular monitoring and help you to manage your environment effectively. All right, cool. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you could see how simple and powerful could be, you know, monitoring our cloud infrastructure resources. And if you enjoyed this video, please Please give me your thumbs up and leave your comment down below. If you're already monitoring your resources, let me know which kind of solution you're using to do it. And if not, if you're planning to do so, please let me know as well. I want to see if you're doing something different in the cloud space. All right. So once again, thanks for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one.